And we are live. Welcome to another episode of Saul Goodcast. And just give me one minute. The cat is bugging me, so let me let him out. All right, I'm back. All right, so it's all good, guys. Season five, episode five, halfway mark. Uh, dedicated to Max. That is the translation of the episode tonight. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. And it was a really good, strong episode. I mean, uh, we're following up with yeah, we're following up with uh, Saul and, and Kim and their uh, client, Mr. Ackard and Mesa Verde. And uh, so, so their their plan was to bombard Mesa Verde with lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit with Saul's schemes, and I loved the montage of it. It was really hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, they they had a scheme with radiation. They had one with. Uh, where they, they 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 acted as if there were important as if there were some important artifacts on, on Mr. Acker's land. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the one where he spray painted the Jesus on the side and they <laughs> that too called the, the religious <laughs> camp of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was it's great. So so the whole plan was just to keep bombarding uh lawsuit after lawsuit with Mesa Verde pop and just move on to the uh to the new site that Kim suggested in the previous episode. Mm-hmm. But uh they're not doing that. They they're gonna they're gonna counter sue uh Misty and Kim is in the Yeah. I mean, Kevin, he wants that land. Mm-hmm. So, so let's see what. So, so as a last ditch effort, Saul decides to hire Trevor, who is played by Stephen Ogg. Now, Trevor has been on the show before. Yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, Stephen Ogg, who we remember, one. Who, who we last saw as Simon on The Walking Dead. Yeah, I mean, I hope I hope we get to see more of. Uh, he went by Mister X uh, in this episode. Mister X. <laughs> well, yeah. See, the reason I yeah, know his so name is Trevor is because there's a clip on you. The, the reason I know his name right. is Trevor is because there's a clip on YouTube of him and Mike from all the way back to season one. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys remember, uh, he was in season one with Mike Pimento, I believe. And he yeah. was uh, Price with Price, and they needed three guys to do the uh, the deal with Nacho. And, yeah. uh, you know, he, he, he challenged Mike. He challenged Mike when – my big dude took off. That was great. <laughs> Just great. And now he's back. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so the reason why so the reason why Trevor or Mr. X is back is because Saul called up Mike so he could do the PI uh, investigative work on this. But Mike uh, turned him down. And so he had to get the, I guess, the veterinarian provided him with Trevor, Mr. X, to get him to... Um, <laughs> 
spy on Kevin because of the whole thing. So now, now the plan is to attack Mesa Verde, to attack Kevin, which came when Saul, you know, basically told Kim, listen, uh, it's not going to work. The only way we can do this is, if, is that if we get uh, attack Kevin and all this. And mm-hmm. he's, he told her it's going to be messy and he doesn't recommend it. Kind of kind of reverse psychology for uh, Saul to get Kim on his side. And Kim said, yeah, we'll do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. That was a good plan by Saul to get Kim on his side. Yeah. But then it, it kind of went, it, the, the, the interview went a little sideways because Trevor started talking about putting the guy, well, what if we get three guys in a sack? <laughs> we'll put the guy in a sack. How about that? Put, put a sack over his head or something like that. And I think Shane's froze up again. Uh oh. But it was funny. So Saul said, uh, "You know what? That's okay. You know, we don't. I don't think we need you. I don't. I, I think we'll we'll handle this on our own." So, no, Trevor or Mister X was not hired. Yeah, I think Shane froze up again. He's been having issues. It's the Russians. Yeah, but he's gone. But no, they decided not to hire Trevor because he was about to go a little too far, I think. (laughs) I gotta say, we lost Shane, so... Of course, the other subplot was uh, Mike being in Mexico at this village where Gus had apparently provided just about everything for the village, including a beautiful uh, fountain, which says Dedicatio or Dedication A Max, dedicated to Max. Which indicates that that was most likely his lover, Max, from Breaking Bad. The one that was killed at Donald Audio's place. And we do see go. We, we, well, we, we, we see Gus at the end of the episode. Or we see Mike actually trying to find a way to contact Gus. Or trying to charge his, or trying to get his phone working because his phone wasn't charged. And finally, he does get it charged. And he, he gets managed to get, get um a, uh, a charging cord for it. Turned out the, the woman that was there had one. And he calls Gus and Gus is like, uh, you know, you need to stay there until you are well or something like that. And then we see Gus at the end of the episode. It's the Russians. Yep. <laughs> the damn Russians. Yeah, it's the coronavirus Russian. <laughs> Uh, there's two of me on here. The reason why is that I'm on my phone, so if I drop again, I'll still be here. 
Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, you were talking about Mike and there's Gus's personal doctor that we've seen before in Breaking Bad and in Better Call Saul. Yes, I'm Breaking Bad. Yep. Same doctor. Yeah. And we see in the uh, the village of where the title of the episode comes from, uh, Gus had a memorial plaque of a water fountain in the middle of the um, wherever the location's at in this little town, and it had on there dedicated to Max. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's right. And beautiful water fountain. Really, really nice. Yeah. And um, uh, and Mike was Mike was trying to find a way to charge his phone. He 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 he, he was going to try and use some wires. But it turned out the woman that he was staying with had a charging cord all along. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> And Mike borrowed it. Uh, he charged his phone. Mm-hmm. And, 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 did, did, uh, I, I don't think we've ever. Fi- I don't think we found out who that woman was. No. I'm. I'm going to go on a theory here. Now it's either the doctor's mother or Max's mother. Hmm. Interesting, yes, could possibly be. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think what else happened. <clears throat> well, we saw that Mike was what Mike was wanting to leave, and mm-hmm. he 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 went as far as the gate and then he sent a log remember remember you you mentioned that that was yes almost yes. parallel to breaking bad almost like foreshadowing of yes. breaking bad what yeah. happened to mike and breaking that, bad i love that i love that shot that was a great shot and then yeah just like you said like i mm-hmm. like i mentioned in a foreshadowing to where mike got shot by walt and he's sitting on the log, looking out into the lake, you know, taking his last moments in before he died. And it was just, it was just wow. I, I love that. That was a perfect, beautiful shot. It was. So uh, going now, back, Mike, go ahead. Mike had thought about leaving, but he was still bleeding from mm-hmm. that knife wound. Yeah, he goes back to the doctor, and the doctor says, "You're free to leave, but you won't. You probably won't make it. You most likely mm-hmm. won't make it yeah. very far. You won't make. You, you'll probably die before you get get to where you want to go." Mm-hmm. He says, "So relax. You know, stay here. This is perfectly safe. Nobody's going to bother you here." Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Mike was was smart staying because he he yeah he he did he did he did a good thing and not be hard headed and took the doctor's advice and just stay there until he was fully healed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I did I did like where Mike was helping the woman out building the uh, the window mm-hmm. seal. That, yeah. that was that was great. It was, and then we see we see Gus and Mike interact uh, mm-hmm. for the first time since you know Mike told him to f off and keep his money, mm-hmm. and it, it looks like Mike might be coming around Gus's side because they both want revenge for what the Salamacas did to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true, and it, it was uh, it was amazing 
the interaction between Gus and Mike. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, going back to Kim, yeah, and uh, Trevor. Tre oh, go ahead. Yeah, so Trevor took photos of Kevin's house, and Kim was going through them, and she spotted something in one of the photos mm -hmm. to to go forward with uh, Jimmy and Kim's plan of taking down Kevin, or uh, apparently uh, to take down Kevin. So, and in that photo, it seems like she saw a cowboy and a um, a cowboy on the horse, the same logo as the Mesa Verde logo. And there's been some, you know, speculation and some predictions that, you know, Kim and Saul is going to take down Kevin through copyright infringement. But I, that, that, I don't think that makes any sense stance because we don't know who's in that photograph of Kevin. Mm -hmm. And Kim was going under the name Natasha. I think it was. Was it Natasha? Yeah, it was either Natasha or Jezza or Giselle. Just, it was, it was, it was Janelle or not Janelle. Yeah. Giselle. Yeah. Giselle. Giselle. That was it. Giselle. <laughs> <laughs> when I they mean, were being, uh, the, the, yeah, this, this episode, being, yeah, this episode really got red. Kim to uh, go on the, yeah, go on the bad side, you know? She's, she's, uh -huh. she's getting compromised by Jimmy. By Jimmy, she's getting compromised by Jimmy, and I'm going to hate to see where Kim ends up. Mm -hmm. And we, we see Kim later on uh, confronting uh, Schweiker. And Schweiker mm -hmm. knows something's going on, but he can't quite put his finger on it. Right. Yeah, we saw that confrontation. Yeah, and I love the confrontation. And I, I cannot wait until Monday's episode to see where this goes because Monday's episode is, you know, Wexler versus Goodman. And, mm. you know, is this 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 is this the start of Kim on her downward spiral? Uh and, and the humongous breakup between Saul and and Kim. Good question. It could very well be. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think that's I think that's pretty much it in this episode. Any uh, predictions for Monday? Well, it's called Wexler versus Goodman. I mean, does this mean that Saul does something so so horrendous mm -hmm. or pulls a scheme so bad that Kim's like, you know what? Forget it. I'm not getting involved with this. Yeah, and, and the uh, the teaser for Monday, we see Saul uh, doing some commercials. Yeah, with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with his crew, which was I love, and I cannot wait for that montage of the I whole know. different commercials he's going to shoot. And we don't know what he's going to is this it his commercials or is the commercials going to take down Mesa Verde? I mean, yeah. I'm excited for this episode, really. I know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Uh, yeah. So Monday is uh, Wexler versus Goodman, and I cannot wait. Uh, so yeah. So this episode was a good episode, but I gotta say, The Walking Dead, I think it beat it out again just by the cliffhanger. Yeah. So the, and, let's go. And and this past, this past week's Walking Dead episode was directed by Greg Nicotero. This was the first one yes. he directed. This is the first one he directed since this since it came back. 
Yeah, and uh, he usually directs the first one that comes back, and this is the third one, I believe, that he's directed. Oh, this, this, this is this is the fourth episode. This is fourth fourth episode. episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, uh, no wonder it was a good episode. He directed it, and he did, he directs yeah. the, he directs the good episodes. Pretty good. He one. does. So 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 we we picked up right off where we left them last week. With the uh, whole building ablaze, the walk is coming towards them. They don't know what to do. And uh, let me bring it up because I completely forgot what happened. Basically, they had to kind of scatter to the four winds, as it were. Mm -hmm. they, they, had to, they had to go into different groups. Yeah. You had Mary or Gamma and Alden and who was it? Co Kelly, Connie's sister. Yeah. And they had the baby. Mm -hmm. Her 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 nephew, which was which was Mary's mm -hmm. nephew. Mm -hmm. But then uh, Beta catches up with them and kills uh, Mary. Mm-hmm. And then she turns to a walker, and Alden shoots her with an arrow, shoots her in the head. A real good shot. Just a dang good shot. Right in the yeah. forehead. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we see, um, you know, Judith and all and, and all the kids being uh, brought with uh, Earl. 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 And we know that Earl got bitten. Mm-hmm. And this, uh, and this right here marks the uh, actually, actually Judith actually uh, injured one of the walkers, and it turned out to be one of the whisperers earlier in the episode. I remember that, mm -hmm. and that uh, kind of marks her first uh, human kill. Yeah. Well, she wouldn't have known the difference, you know. She yeah. If, if if a if a whisperer is acting like a walker, mm -hmm. then it's not like she would have known. And, and listen, you know, was that whisperer would, would just have uh, killed her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, she wouldn't like you said she wouldn't have known unless until um, until the very last second when they pull the mask off. But yeah, this marks her first kill. And then going back to Earl, you know, he, he got bitten and he transformed into a walker. She was the one that killed him to mm -hmm. took him out. So that marks her first um, kill for uh, a, guy, a human turning into a walker as well. Yeah. So a, a lot of story progression with uh, Judith in this episode. Yeah, definitely. Now, what Earl was trying to do was he was going to he was going to try and kill himself by put, forcing his head onto a uh, like a like a like a pike type thing. Yeah, yeah, he put the uh, the stake through the table. Yeah, he put a stake through the table, and he was going to ram his head on that stake, but he never got the chance to. Mm -hmm. And Judith was the one that had to kill him, which yeah. you know. Emotion, emo, very emotional turn for uh, Judith. Um, I love Daryl comforts her at the end. Yeah, that was, that was a, a touching moment because you know Daryl basically you know was, was Judith's godfather. You know, mm. he called her. He called her a little kick ass. You know, when she was first born, little ass kicker, <laughs> little ass kicker. Yeah. yeah. And so now, for him to, you know, fill that void of, you know, Rick, to comfort her, was really touching. I, I just love that. Mm -hmm. It was good. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah, going going back, you know, Negan sees Lydia and he captures her and kidnaps her for Alpha, which we think 
we think. You know, all this is like, <laughs> oh my God, the Negan's going to get Alpha on her, her and, and she, she's going to kill her own daughter. But the, then the most epic thing happened. One of the great, I think one of the best cliffhangers in, I think, recent history. Crap. Freeze up. Right. Well, Negan, we Negan, 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 Negan take, says, take, you know what? Negan basically says, you know ahead. that little problem? I, I, I found it. And, and he takes Alpha to this building, which we think Lydia is tied up in. Yeah. And we think, oh, no. You know, this is Negan's transformation. This is Negan's full transformation he's a full-on whisperer we thought you know he's gonna he's well here, here's the thing what i i thought was when megan was taking his time uh -huh. i thought maybe she was going to accept Escapes through the back. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not how it worked out. <laughs> no. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Because uh, I'm on my phone little camera problems audio problems but uh, anyway so yeah Negan takes her takes Alpha to this uh, to this building and we think like you said you know Lydia is going to be in there and she's not and Negan just cuts her throat building cuts and Alpha's throat we think like you said Uh oh. All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Negan mm. takes her, takes Alpha to this building, and goes up behind her, and cuts her throat. Mm hmm. And then much like what Rick did to him, except except they actually helped. Uh, they actually. Rick encouraged them to help Negan, whereas no, he didn't encourage anybody to help Alpha. Or Negan didn't yeah. encourage anybody to help Alpha. Yeah. And then the next shot we see is this head. It's Alpha's head rolling towards Carol. Carol's like, took you long enough. Oh, my God. Yeah, so Negan and Carol was in all this all along. Yeah. And we didn't even know. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we you know, we have to believe that uh, Carol helped Negan escape through uh, Alexandria. So I think so. Whole, so that's his whole plan can you know come to fruition. Uh -huh. However, they forgot one thing: Beta. What the hell is Beta going to do after they find out about this? Yeah, and apparently Beta is some famous individual because half his mask was torn off in this. One whisperer recognized him, and he had to kill that whisperer. Yeah. So, so who is Beta? Yeah, that is the question. So yeah, I hope we find uh, all the answers tomorrow night. Uh, mm -hmm. let's see. And, uh, and going on with uh, Carol, uh, Eugene was talking to Carol about his little his little girlfriend up in Charleston, uh -huh. and she's. And she's uh, saying, you know, go ahead and go to her. Go to her. And it seems like he's going to go to her. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's not a bad thing. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
but um, uh, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure they're going to be focusing on that storyline tomorrow night because, according to the previews, we're going to see Michonne's storyline. Yeah, I did. I did see that. So I think they're going to focus on Michonne. It might be just Michonne only. Mm-hmm. And where she's been. Yeah. Because remember, she was supposed to go to that island, which was armed with all that, which had all the, uh, which had which had the naval base on it. Mm-hmm. She was supposed to go with that one guy. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need a uh, need a little braver after that uh, great great cliffhanger. And the thing is, is that Alpha's head was reanimated. Yep. That was great. Yep. I was so freaking. I wonder who's gonna. I hope Lydia is the one that kills the head. Mm-hmm. I really do. I think that'd be just you know a, a great full circle. So, yeah, it seems like Negan is still on uh, Team Alexandria, or at least Team Carol at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, any any predictions for tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, like you said, uh, it's going to be a Michonne episode. Yeah, well, 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 we'll see what happens. Now, one thing we saw in this past episode was Aaron confronted Negan. Negan's like, wait a minute, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I, I thought I thought what's, and then Aaron was distracted by a bunch of walkers so he had to get away yeah it was funny Negan was trying to it was trying to herd the walkers he was trying to act like a walker mm-hmm. and he's like screw this he takes the seal <laughs> bam yeah I like that that was that was just hilarious <laughs> that was just hilarious he's like screw I this mean, hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think that was pretty. I think we covered all the main points. I uh, think so. Again, again, I mean, what what's going to happen with uh, you know the whispers since their leader is dead now? Uh, they're going to be hell bent for leather out for revenge, I think, once they find out that Alpha's dead. Yeah, especially Beta. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you got you got you know basically Jason as Beta. Yeah. And I lo- I can't wait to see how they take down Beta. That that's just going to be a good death scene right there. Yeah. Yeah. How are they going to do it though? Mm-hmm. I mean, that dude, he's like a force of nature. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, tomorrow night's uh, episode of The Walking Dead is called uh, What We Become. Next week's episode is really interesting. Look at the flowers. And we've heard of that saying before. We have. Uh, and then uh, after that is the tower, and then a certain doom as the season finale. Mm-hmm. Yes, we have heard. Look at the flowers. That's what Carol told Lizzie. Yep. Uh, and then next week's uh, Better Call Saul episode was uh, Wexler B. McGill. Versus McGill. Uh, scratch that. Wexler versus Goodman. And then after that is JMM. And then I believe it's the Vince Gilligan episode, Bagman, directed by Vince Gilligan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, justice matters most. That's what JMM stands for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Oh, we forgot. Howard made another appearance. He called up yes. Jimmy. 
to ask him about the whole uh, offer that he made in the last episode. Mm-hmm. And and Jimmy was, you know, brushing him off saying, yeah, I got I got to uh, still think about it. Yeah. Oh, there was a video that I saw on YouTube. It was a uh, a video of uh, of how to be how, how to be a good jurist. How, how, if you get jury duty, how to be a good jurist? Yeah. And it was Howard, Kim, and Jimmy and Saul. Of course, Saul gives all the bad advice. <laughs> jury nullification. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see the latest uh, ethics talk with uh, Kim? Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. I want to see oh. it. Yeah, that, that was, it was a good one. Uh, so, yeah, after Bagman, it's uh, Bad Choice Road and then Something Unforgivable. All right, so I think that's going to do it for us tonight. I've covered all the main parts and everything. Uh, so, yeah, next week we'll be here with uh, episode six of Vertical Saul. And what was the Walking Dead one? Mm-hmm. Episode. Episode 5 for the second half of the season 10. Then Friday night, we'll do a quarantine again and discuss more about this whole coronavirus. Well, mm-hmm. that was a really good that was a really good talk that we had last night. It was with uh, Daniel Well and everybody in the chat room. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that was back. fun. Yeah, it was it was a fun talk, and we'll we'll, we'll dive more into that uh, Friday night because uh, this whole stuff every day it changes every day, every minute, every hour, every second it, it changes, and I am concerned that this whole thing is going to delay season six of Better Call Saul because mm-hmm. they they won't be able to film. I hope it doesn't, but. If, if it uh, keeps up like this, it's most likely going to delay, and we have to wait a whole another year before season six. Yeah, and the ser- in the series finale too. But yeah, this uh, yeah. So the twenty seventh, we'll talk more about quarantine on uh, political alternative media. So go subscribe to that, and then here next week we'll be talking more Better Call Saul and The Walking Dead. And on yeah. that note. Good night, everybody. And we're still on the air. Yeah, I'm having trouble. In the okay. Head. Let me refresh this. All right, Henry, you, you can you can sing a song or something. How I <laughs> how I tried to. I haven't seen the news today, so I don't know what's the latest on. The, I heard I heard though there's at least a hundred cases of. Coronavirus in Mississippi now. Mm. It was yeah, eighty. The, it was eighty the other day. Wow. Yeah, I haven't heard any much more about it. All right, let's try this again. And the government.